All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a kangaroo pump or feeding tube pump. Um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the formula that has been ordered for the patient. Um, you're going to need a set that goes with the kangaroo pump. There are two different kinds. This one has a bag for fluid and it has the spike to put in with the formula. If the formula is in cans or it's gonna be poured into a bag, you just need the set that has two bags. So these are empty, they're for demonstration purposes only, but I would take the spike and you just wanna insert it right into the formula and spin it to get it nice and tight. Okay, then you would open up your bag here and fill this with sterile water when you're in the hospital. Um, there are times when people are at home that they use tap water, but sterile water is ideal when they're in the hospital. So we're gonna say both of those are now full. So what you're gonna need to do next is you're gonna need to eventually prime this. So you want like a trash can or you wanna be by a sink. All right, I'm gonna actually turn this here. And this is kind of where it gets a little trickier if you haven't done it before. You wanna hold this little shelf right here. And you're going to put it in this little part right here. You guys can see how that kind of goes into that shelf. And you're gonna pull this. This right here is a pretty stretchy thing. You're not gonna break it. So you wanna go underneath the black. You're gonna pull this up and then release that little black cylinder into that. So I'm gonna do that one more quick time here. Hold your shelf, slide it in, stretch this guy a little bit up here and then release. And you're just gonna close your door. We're gonna go back to the front. That's your power button. All right, you can keep your settings if you're using this on your patient again, but for this, we're gonna go ahead and clear our settings. I wanna show you guys what to do. Right here, there's the option that says prime pump. You just click that arrow there. You can do auto prime, and if you just hold auto prime, it'll prime on its own. I would, and I like to hold prime flush. And once you hear that sound, you're gonna start seeing the fluid fill through the um, tubing. And once I'm done, you're going to hold the hold to prime the feed, you'll hear it starting, and that's when you're gonna start hearing it prime. Okay, and then you're gonna click done. You guys can see this flashing thing here, it says disconnect from patient, so you never prime when it's connected. You're putting air into the patient if you do that. Now I wanna check my orders again, and we're going to see adjust feed. I'm gonna do my feed rate, and then VTBO is volume to be I mean, I really don't know what the O stands for, but it could be volume to be infused, volume to be administered, whichever way you wanna do it. So I'm gonna do feed rate. And we're gonna say the doctor ordered 20 mLs an hour. So you guys can see these little lines connect to an arrow. So if you accidentally push this button here, that's way too much. So just keep pushing it and it'll go back down to zero. So they order, let's go 20. All right, so 20 mLs an hour, and that's the feed rate enter. Now I want to know how much to be infused. And when you look, this actual uh, formula has a thousand in it. So you can have a thousand. I tend to like to go a little bit lower than that just so it doesn't go completely empty. And it alerts me before it is empty. So I probably do like 950. That way when 950 is done, I know I have 50 more milliliters that I can run through this tubing. I can just reset it. And that gives me that warning about an, you know two hours, three hours before that I need to order up another box or bag. Now you have a couple options I would go to done because you have here feed rate 20 mLs an hour, 950 mLs, done. You wanna adjust a flush. Definitely check your order. Make sure that the patient's not on a fluid restriction. Flush volume, we're gonna say the doctor wants us to give 20 mLs again. Enter. And they want it over, let's say every four hours. So here we can enter. They want us to do it every four hours. So again, that's based on whatever your doctor orders. So what this is now telling me is the feed rate is 20 milliliters an hour. 
the flush, it will flush 20 milliliters of fluid every four hours and 950 mLs of feed will go in. And right up here, there's something that flashes. And right there it says fed. And next it's gonna say flush. That's your running counter for your intake and output. So once you know that all these settings are correct and you've verified, you would connect this into your patient and you would click the button run. You can see it says running. And now you can see this fed says one mLs. So that's not a lot of course, because we're doing this for our fake patient. Now, if I want to clear my settings or to get my intake and output for the shift, you can click hold and it says clear volume. So you wanna look here and okay, one milliliter was fed and then it says zero was flushed. I would click that, clear volume, and now it's cleared it and set it ready for the next shift. We're gonna run it again because I wanna also tell you if you're going to lay your patient, say flat to do um, a some kind of a patient care, um, cleaning up your patient, for example, if you're gonna lay them flat, it does have to be on hold. You need to make sure that patient's up at a specific degree level based on your policy. Usually it's a minimum of 45 degrees that you want that patient to be sit sitting up. Um, maybe 30 degrees, again, it kind of depends on your policy for the organization. So just be sure that you follow those directions and rules.